Okay, this is the second tutorial on pattern making smarts in Garment Designer. And here I'm going to explain a little bit about armhole sleeve relationships. After watching hundreds of students working with pattern making on the computer and presuming the computer should know everything, I soon learned that it would be wise on our part to put pattern making smarts with regards to armholes and sleeves as a built-in function of the software. And what this means, as an example, is that if the user decides that they want their armhole to be a little shorter. I'm going to nudge it up with my arrow keys, but as I'm doing that, if you look at the sleeve, you can see that the sleeve is updating. This is the most difficult part of pattern making. It's easy to build an armhole, but then to have to recalculate the sleeve is where a lot of people get lost. So we take care of that automatically for you. Let's say also that I want to widen this garment. Notice how I'm selecting the side seam and the lower armhole point because that's a critical part. I'm just going to nudge over and again as I'm nudging with the arrow keys, and of course I could drag but I'm nudging, my sleeve will update. Just as a little lesson on the armhole, our armholes are composed of three components. We have a straight section that goes to the upper chest area, that's the narrowest part of your armhole. Then there's a curved section and then we have our straight section here at the end. And likewise for a set and sleeve we have a straight section, a curved section and it will straighten off at the top. So you create an armhole and the sleeve will build automatically and this happens in various styles so that if I go in and I want a dolman we can build the dolman sleeve. If I choose to have a drop shoulder you get a drop shoulder style. Now granted remember I've nudged points so I'm going to go and undo all point movement so that I'm back to the standard uh, style. Uh, we have square armholes and notice you know we've got that here and even at this point if I decide to edit and I'm going to nudge this up my sleeve is changing accordingly. And we also have in style set 2 um, what is known as our full fashion style here. There we go. Uh, and this is a very lovely style and it's used a lot by knitters. So let's go back to the set in style. And you can choose if you prefer higher caps or lower caps. And according to the shape of your arm, these may work better for you. So there are options for you. So again, I'm going to undo all point movement just so that I'm back to the original style here. Um, and I'm going to actually do something where I'm going to do something bad so that you can see how you can get into trouble and why you got into trouble. Let's say I want a wider garment. I'm just going to drag this over, thinking, but I'm not taking the whole underarm part. And now you're getting a warning that the two underarm points need to be treated as a unit. Uh, if you move one too far away from the other, you're creating a bad armhole. If you create a bad armhole, we'll take your sleeve away. And the only way to get the sleeve back is to correct the armhole. So if I decide to drag this in, and I'm dragging it back, I'm trying to get these two points closer. It's still not happy, and that's okay. I'm going to keep nudging, so uh, I'll, t I'll turn this off for the moment so that we don't have to keep looking at it every time we nudge. But I'll keep nudging this back and see eventually I get my sleeve. But as you can see, I'm getting to a better armhole. The better way of widening a garment is to take the, both underarm points and the side seam and widen it. Know that if the sleeve disappears, you've done something that's not good as far as pattern making is concerned. We'll hide the sleeve, and when you correct your problem, we'll give you the sleeve back to work. Let me point out that if you want to um, alter the sleeve, it's not going to impact your armhole. So for example, let's say that I want to make a a popped sleeve. I've already got the higher cap but I could just simply grab these points on the sleeve and I'm going to widen the sleeve. I'm nudging with my arrow keys and then if I even want to raise the cap a little more as in the case of a puff sleeve I can do that and then I can also click on the curves and pull this out so I'm building um, a puff sleeve that will sew in but my armhole is not adjusted. So that gives you some sense of the armhole sleeve relationships that you have. We will always take care of you with your sleeve and you should have a blast.